What's going on guys? This is JT here. I hope y'all are having an amazing Tuesday. If you guys notice in the top right of your screen right here, we see a wrench. So in 16 hours, yes, we have a new update coming to Diablo Immortal. In this video, we're going to be talking about the entire update, going over it, also talking about some extra notes that are written in Chinese that we now have translated to English to tell you guys some other things that are coming, which I'm actually really excited for, especially some of the new copies medic tweaks all right so what we got here diablo immortal content update find your inner light with the season four battle pass so obviously we got the season four battle pass coming we also got the new heliquary boss which we're going to talk about actually since it's second in line we'll go ahead and talk about it now the heliquary boss is however you say both of these names we got bella dwi and Gishter difficulty one is going to be 4,665 combat rating required difficulty two 56 75 and difficulty three is going to be extremely hard I'm assuming difficulty three we are going to have to wait until Paragon 240 so we got 6,675 that is absolutely insane so we also got a new hungering moon event we have the new scorch sea limited time event we also have another mid of Syranger, a limited time event. We got some bug fixes and also feature updates. Now, obviously, this is probably a mini update because the last up we got update we got was absolutely massive. So it looks like here is the new inner light skin. Pretty sweet. All right, let's keep on scrolling down. What else do we got, boys? I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. If you guys do want to see this, you can simply go to blizzard.com and read all of the details. Obviously, it has the details right here. Here are what the new bosses looks like it looks like it's a kind of like a two kind of like two at the same time this is going to be very interesting i'm excited for the new heliquary boss fight it's going to be a lot of interaction it seems from bosses and what players have to dodge and a lot of mechanics probably is going to be in this fight no doubt about it especially with the hard combat rating it should be very interesting you guys know what the hungering moon is we're going to be bringing the hungering moon back it's basically just it's like a mobile phone cheesy event right it comes every two weeks it's nice it's easy it just gives you a little bit of extra rewards which is nice we also got the scorch sea limited time event talked a little bit about this as well and we have the mist of syranger limited time event talks about this so let's go ahead what do we got for bug fixes it doesn't quite say oh okay yeah we click here to see all the bug fixes if you guys want to know the bug fixes go ahead and click that hopefully we got battlegrounds bug fix in there along with tons of other bug fixes as well well, this actually I saw with the featured update. This is pretty freaking sweet, man. So now in the legendary gym, you now have a lock button, which this is probably one of the most important things. I really wish they would have inserted this at the start of the game because I know there are players all across the world. I've heard about it in my guild. I've heard about tons of people complain like, oh, no, I accidentally used the gym. I wanted for fodder. Well, that feels bad, man, because now they have a lock button feature, which pretty prevents players from accidentally consuming a gem while upgrading it. The reason why they came out with this feature, in my opinion, is they probably got a mass amount of complaints like, I just consumed my gem, and then they have to go back in, look at the files, and then whether they replace that gem or not, which I'm majority of the time, I'm sure they don't. So that is unfortunate. So let's go ahead and read. These were not actually on the uh, English website. This was on the Chinese website, but some of the most important things that were on here that I read and this is one thing that I love a new wing slot has been added to the appearance interface when equipping resonance appearance wings acquiring or wearing new outfits will no longer remove the wings by default so now the resonance wing can wings can now be placed on any appearance which is pretty freaking sweet because any cosmetic set you have now you can just simply use your resonance wings so i'm gonna have my big 5k wings with whatever appearance i like best besides the actual resonance appearance i felt like that was pretty freaking sweet one other big tool tip was optimize the opening experience of the bronze chest and remove the cooldown from opening the chest so now instead of opening one chest at a time 
surely you can open like all 99 at a time as you guys know if you opened up one of them it gave you a five second cooldown so now you're just sitting there like oh i, I, I guess i'll wait on this cooldown to open up another chest it's like give me a freaking break man let me open up all these chests at the same damn time anyway guys i just wanted to go over a brief interview of our brief description of what exactly was brought into the new update that is going to be happening on the on uh well, let me see is it the same time for the update i think it's the same time for the update as far as west coast and also east coast however i know the uh offshore servers definitely have have already even gotten the update if i'm not mistaken so yeah anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video and can't wait for the new update i am out of here for now peace out fellas